Welcome to Bill's Bridge Class, Class 49, the count signal in defense. Today we're going to cover the next part of defensive signaling, the count signal. Why do we give the count signal? How do we give the count signal? What card do we play when we give the count signal? And we'll continue again tomorrow. Today is Friday, May 24th, 2013. Why should you give a count signal? When you know partner's count in a suit, you know your own count in a suit, and you're looking at dummy's count, you can determine declarer's count. What use is that to you as a defender? Well, it aids in the defense of the hand in several areas. First of all, you will know when declarer is out in a suit. It'll help you in counting the tricks that declarer has or counting the tricks that the defenders have. And it's most critical in a defensive play in a, called the holdup, primarily for no trump contract. When should you give a count signal? When dummy or declarer breaks a new suit. Whenever it is clear that you cannot hold an honor in a suit. You may know that by the bidding, the play to this point, or on dummies holding. But, corollary, don't give a count if it only helps the declarer. My advice to the new player is always give count until you learn otherwise. And we'll cover some of the otherwise in the next class. What card do you play to give count? A high spot or relatively high spot card shows an even number of cards in the suit. While a low spot, relatively low spot card, shows an odd number. Partner must observe missing small cards. The seven might be your lowest and the three might be your highest, depending on how the cards are distributed. With four cards, play the highest you can afford. Always your play denies the next higher card. For example, with 10, 8, 6, 3, even number, play the 8. The 10 might be valid. With Jack 10, 4, 2, play the 4 because both the Jack and the 10 may be critical. With 2 cards, play the highest only if you don't need it. If it's an honor card, you may decide to to duck in certain conditions, but you usually play the highest anyway. And with an odd number, play your low. Here we're going to cover some critical cases where the count signal is critical for the defense. Case number one, when dummy or declarer has a threatening suit, the count signal is imperative. Here's an example. You are east. That is your holding. Partner leads the four of diamonds against a three no trump contract. Dummy comes down with the following. Dummy plays low. You insert the 10 and declare plays the ace. You learned that uh, a few hands back. Declare now leads the five of clubs. A partner plays the 10. He's giving you the count. He has an even number, two or four. The club suit is a threatening suit in the dummy. And you need to be sure when to take your ace of clubs. So let's count. If, the, if partner has four, then there's too many clubs in the deck. Dummy has six, declarer has four, you have three. It doesn't add up. So partner has two. Partner has two, you have three. Dummy has six. How many clubs does, part, does declarer have? He has two. You take the second club because you count declare for two. Critical case. Why should you take the second club? Let's see. You know that declare has exactly two clubs. So, declare has no way to return to the dummy to take those extra club ticks except through clubs. If you refuse to hold up and take your ace on the first round, Declare can get back to dummy with his second club and cash five, count them, five club tricks. If you wait until the third round, Declare gets a 
club trick he would not otherwise get. You're giving him a free trick. By the way, after you win the second club, cash the king of diamonds and lead a diamond to part. Here's another critical case for giving the count signal. Giving count in a supported suit. You hold this hand. South opens one heart. Your partner overcalls a spade. North raises his partner to two hearts. You raise your partner to two spades. Now South closes the auction with four hearts. Your partner's on lead and he leads the king of spades. He leads the king from ace-king when the suit is supported and you supported it. Dummy comes down with this hand and you see the queen of spades. What should you play? You should give a count. Play the five of spades. Partner sees the queen. Partner therefore knows you probably have four. You wouldn't have raised with two. You have an odd number. <coughs> so he'll know whether he can cash a spade or not. Here's another case where giving count is critical at the five or the six level. Going back to opening leads and selecting the card to lead, we're told that to lead the king from the ace king, depending on as an opening lead, if the suit was bid and raised or if the contract is at the five level or greater. Why is this so? Remember the mnemonic. K, king for count, A, ace for attitude. Whenever a partner leads a king against a six or seven level contract, give count. Reason. Partner will know if he can cash the ace. It's critical. Count is more important than attitude. You're not going to get more than two or three tricks anyway. Here's another case where it's critical to give count. Give count when partner shows out. Stop and think about it. Declare knows the count. He knows how many cards are out against him and he knows your partner is out. Let partner in on the secret. You're not telling the declare anything he doesn't already know. Let's take an example. You are West. Declare has pulled Trump and now he leads a side suit clubs. He leads a three of clubs. Partner shows out. Dummy has ace, king, jack, nine. It's your holding. Play the eight. Give count. You have six. Partner knows the situation. Here are two more cases where giving the count is critical for the defense. Item five. You are following suit to a suit led by partner. You cannot beat the card played by dummy. Give the count, especially in a no trump contract. A corollary of that is, if partner knows from the bidding your count, your signal is instead a suit preference signal. That's a little advanced, but we're going to hit that in class 51. If the partner knows you can't have an honor, and he knows your count from the bidding, the only thing left is, what suit do you like? The last part for this class at least is partner leads a suit and you give an attitude signal. Partner now continues the suit and if you are not playing to win the trick, playing an honor, give current count signal. That almost wraps up the count signal. Tomorrow we're going to cover the when you don't give the count signal and two other types of echo. The Trump echo and the Smith echo. See you tomorrow.